I go to Conestoga College. I am in the cabinet making apprenticeship program and I work in Port Hope, Ontario at uh, John Mills Antiques Restorations. Hi, I'm James Ma and I'm taking the Construction Techniques Multi-Trade course. My name is Matthew Shackleton. I'm currently a tool and die student at Conestoga. My name is Morgan McKinney. I go to school here at Conestoga College. I am a first year automotive service technician apprentice. As a Weston family scholar, uh, I've been able to really kind of transition out of my first career into my second career as a cabinet maker, and it's really made what should have been a, a more financially stressful situation be a really easy transition. As there is a great demand for those in skilled trades, including tool and I, I feel it's very important for me to share my own experiences and put others in my shoes so they can see the great opportunities that come within the skilled trades. In one of my presentations that I did, I was with a small group, 10 kids. It was early in the morning, they did not want to be there, but they listened and two of the kids from that class, they talked to their teacher after I had left and I got an email from her telling me that I had basically changed the way the kids thought about school, changed the way that they viewed the fact that they had to sit in a classroom for eight hours a day. I told them that in my shop, I spend the first three hours of my day working on cars. I bring in my own car, I get to work on it, I get to learn things that I'm going to be driving. One of the skills I got from being a Weston Scholar is mentorship. Being able to be a mentor for people. And during the open house event in Waterloo, I was able to communicate with people who weren't quite sure what to do or were already involved in the course and just wanted more information. So right now in school uh, what I'm doing is stuff in the fuel systems. Uh, we just finished the electrical and I've done the workplace so all the safety procedures, everything that you need to first start off. Um, right now I am a day release apprentice so I get to work one day a week in the shop here on Mondays and then I work in my proper shop over in Acton um, every other day of the week. When I first started this program, I didn't really know what I was going to do or if I was really prepared for it. And so when I first went in, I was a little nervous. I didn't know anybody coming in and out of it, I made a lot of new friends. I've become very comfortable working with the gases and electricity within the environment and I've enjoyed it. Once I become a certified tool and die maker, it gives me the opportunity to work worldwide at various companies in sectors such as agriculture, automotive, and nuclear. There really is a lot of career opportunities for me. It takes 10 years in the trade to do teaching. It takes a longer time to own a business. But I get to kind of live in that situation almost daily. When it comes to the Western program, I get to do my practicing on teaching. When it comes to working at the shop, I get to deal with the business aspect. I get to learn the ins and outs, I get to learn what the price margins need to be, how you keep your staff on, how you bring in jobs, how you do different marketing tactics. As a Weston Scholar, it's kind of like a two-way street. You have on one side, you have people who have already been through what you're going through and they have information that they can provide for you and on the other side, you have information you can provide for others. So, for example, when I first started, I wasn't really sure what I should do in plumbing. However, other students within the scholarship have helped me be able to understand what I want to do. My career goals are really to um, establish myself more in furniture and a background in cabinet making definitely supports that. Uh, it has elevated my career so far. It's, it's really been helpful to know that I have the support of the, the scholarship behind me.